guys welcome to another video i am here in the raptor we're on our way to pick up the suzuki rock crawler off-roader whatever you want to call it the new motor is in we're going to do that and we're going to head back we're going to do a few mods to that while we're there at kevin bell say hi to the boys and then from there we're going to go back to the house and i've got some goodies that we can get on the raptor some new parts have arrived finally start getting them on and we'll see what else the uh the day brings it's gonna be a good one all right, down here at Kevin Bell. Firstly, let's have a quick gaze, quick gaze. Ben Hodges has pulled all the parts out of his racing car and put in his street car. So fill up a set of lights next to this. Just keep in mind. It has everything out of his race car. Sequential, Jay-Z. Yeah, you're not gonna win, pretty much. Does that sound fair? It's just a Christmas uh, thing to do. Except you don't have big tyres, you can't fit big tyres. <laughs> no. So, 235, yeah, look. Fitment boys would be happy. Um, traction not existent. Traction not much, and yeah, you're gonna have to have like five degrees of camber. <laughs> yeah. Hot boy. <laughs> Hot boy. All right, so this is the new engine now in the Vitara. Apparently it starts, so I guess we'll fire it up. Apparently Russ spent 30 minutes, did you say? Looking, yeah. Russ spent about 30 minutes looking, like couldn't work out why it wouldn't start. Um, it actually has a start button because it's a race car. So here we go. No, I can't find it. There it is. Right. Oh, hey. Woo. Work boots. New donk. Sounds good. I guess there's not a lot to see. All right, and then something I didn't film while I was at home. I've actually gone arty. I call it art. I don't know. I just think this looks cool. I had a spare bonnet, so I did this. I don't know, yeah, I guess you're gonna have to see it in person, but let me know what you think in the comments down below about what I've done to this bonnet. It's just, I don't know, something different, and I hate the green, so at least the bonnet's not green anymore. All right, I'm personally really happy with that. It's different. I don't know, I like it. It um, feels funky, and then, the bits were grounded a bit low, a rust. I don't know. I think it'll look cool. Just a shame that the rest of it is green. Definitely gonna have to do something about that soon. All right guys, back into this video. Now, one thing that I've been holding out on, I don't know why I put bike tubes there, but we've had a delivery from, what are they called, Ox Power or Ox? They do, basically they do a bunch of lighting stuff. So what we've actually got here is a, um, essentially a power board. That's gonna be going in my um, Raptor. Got some window visors, that's separate. But I've got some goodies here that are going to be going in the Raptor, which I'm pretty pumped about. We're not gonna do the Raptor stuff today though. What we do have is some more Oxbeam stuff that's gonna be going on the Zook. So I'll go grab that now and show you guys. All right, so we've got a 50 inch RGB light bar to go on the Zook, which I really wanna try and fit before we get this car out for tomorrow's mission. Oh, it comes with a loom, perfect. So this should be easy. So it's from Oxbean guys, look them up. They have a Instagram, 
Um, a lot of cool stuff on their Instagram as well. But let me rip, I'll put the camera down, rip this out, and we'll take a good look. All right, look at this Johnny here. Ooh, it's a big light, big hands. This is a big ass light. So main like sort of spots in the middle, and obviously is spread, and then more spots here. But these. Is, is is RGB guys, so it's fully colored light. Um, cool thing is, not only is it side mounted, you can also mount it from the bottom. So you can uh, mount it off the middle, or I suspect this is gonna be wider than the roof of the Zook, so I won't be able to mount it off the sides, I'll have to mount it off the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting things together as per the destruction manual, and see what I can work out. But I got a good big shout out to Oxbeam for um, sending this stuff out for me to try. Really pumped on it. I'm especially pumped on the other stuff that's gonna be going on the Raptor, that touch panel thing. Super rad. Check them out on Instagram or look them up on uh, on Google. Check them out. Stuff's pretty well priced. And um, yeah, about to show you guys. Man, if I can wire this up, anyone can, basically. And uh, just so you know in the background, that um, time lapse we had it earlier in the video, Regan's almost done with the deck. Or should I show them when we're finished? We're like two pieces away. So oh, yeah. I'll, I'll wait till you finish. 30 seconds real All right. time. <laughs> I'll, I'll play around and um, finish the, get this mounts done and start looking at the wiring. And then we'll go show you guys how the deck's been coming along. All right, so I'm getting this done. I've got the bottom mounts on. Just gonna find my drill to start drilling through the roof of the car. But I am mistaken, this isn't the RGB light. This is actually a better light. So I did ask the guys for the RGB one, but they've actually sent me the the higher quality. So the light out of this thing should be freaking ridiculous. Um, but no party lights. I kind of wanted party lights for the Zook, but nonetheless, I'm going to have a crap ton of light. And I couldn't get the I can get the party lights in the future potentially, and swap this one out and put this on something else where I'm really scared of the dark because this thing is going to be ridiculous. Um, anyway. I'm gonna head over to the Zook, grab my drill, and drill a hole and drill two holes in the roof. That's gonna be fun. All right, I've got it bolted on. Um, definitely overkill for the Suzuki by a couple of inches either side, but you know, they say, guys, better to be a little bit too big than too small. So we're gonna do some wiring up now. It should actually be super easy. Um, seems like an extremely simple loom. Earth, power, and there's a switch that goes into the cab. So maybe even I can do it. All right, we've gone ahead and done some Luke Fink spec wiring. We run the wire from here, behind the aerial, runs down into the engine bay, wired it straight up to the battery, like literally super, that's it, just wire it up to the battery. And then I've got a switch here, and if you can see, I don't know if you can see on the lights there, um, it is bright. Let's have a look. Oh. It's, yeah, I'm not gonna be scared of the dark anymore. That's for damn sure. Rob, uh, Rob went full Sunny's action when he had them on. So now, if you wanna grab this for yourselves, guys, I'll leave a link down in the description. This thing's a monster. I'm gonna test it in tomorrow's vlog um, at night. I'm sure it's gonna be absolutely ridiculous considering stock lights on this are rubbish. So I needed a light bar. I've probably gone a little bit too far, to be honest, this is more than enough for rock crawling, that's for sure. Um, it's probably far too much for rock crawling, but it's gonna be good anyway, so we'll take it out and give it a test. Um, I'm also gonna do a little something something to the Raptor now as well, but pumped on this. All right, so the last little mod of the day, I went and added these little, uh, I don't know, what do they call them, wind deflectors or something. I had them on the old Raptor and definitely made life a lot nicer inside the car, so. Adds with the whole blacked out theme I've been going with the, with the Raptor. Pretty pumped. Um, right, well, I'm going to wrap this one up there. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy the content. Keeping in mind, tomorrow we've got an epic, epic day coming up with a big time off roading sesh with a bunch of people dressed up as Santa and stuff. So it's going to be absolutely wild. Don't forget to watch it. Uh, I'll probably drop it on Christmas Day. So hope you enjoy it. Otherwise, in a vlog soon after that, we'll be putting the remainder of the Oxbeam stuff onto the Raptor. So that'll be quite cool to see all that, how that all works out. It'll be the in, in grill, uh, light bar, and then some rear lights on the back facing backwards as well. So 
pretty excited for it. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. I'll see Merry you next Christmas. time.